What's up, y'all? I am Jaren back with another voice analysis. Y'all know what this is. You know, you know we do here. But I love this video. I love, love, love this video. I'm kind of late to the game, but I still want to talk about it because she does so many wonderful things. And I like the live version of this. I like how she spun it. So let's get right into it, y'all. Let's do it. already say something real quick. I know we just started, but I'm going to say something. I love these strings. I love them. Boom, doom, 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 doom. I love the acousticness and the beauty of the strings. Oh, I love this element to this song. There's almost a marcato with each syllable that she's singing. So there's almost separation between each syllable, I guess each pitch within each syllable, or however you want to spin it. You know, there's separation with each little part of the phrase, each syllable, each chunk of each word. There's separation within the pitches, kind of like little stops in between each syllable. Yeah, so it's a little more percussive. Da, 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 ba, ka, da, da, da. Instead of da, 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 da. that'd be more connected, if you will. But hers is da, 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 in the dark with a vibrato placed on certain parts of the phrases. Usually, like the ends of phrases are kind of more longer notes. She'll place a vibrato, but generally, it's a little more marcado or separated or just kind of emphasized articulatory wise and phonatory wise. I love that little twist right there. The word was suffering, but she said suffering and put the pattern in the NG, but took off the NG or the G, I'm sorry, of suffering, 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 whatever that look was, suffering. It's pretty. So I know that the demons, it's not cuz I, it's cuz, cuz. It's a whispered, unvoiced cuz, cuz. You can say words without voicing them, just like that, cuz I. Instead of cuz I, it was cuz I. So yeah, she unvoiced the word, but it was still part of the music. It was just unvoiced. she layered the kind of bridge part into cause you got one chance in your hands because I think when original is kind of more like layered it's kind of like in and out and kind of layered so it's hard to transition straight into in your hands in your hands but she kind of did a walk up chance in your hands the world is yours and those when I'm in it a lot of vocal throws when I'm in it and the consonants are lessened here you know especially when I'm in it when I'm in it and you see my vowels are kind of darker when I'm in it you see so it's in your hands a little more brighter but then what is your when I'm in it kind of gets more longer in the vowel shape I love this chance she almost had like a little jaw lose your chance with added air pressure lose your chance it had a little a little rev up in there yeah and i like hearing her belt like this like she's really like chesting it all the way up there you know she's really letting it be thick in the vocal folds really letting it ring i like that Cause 
After me, you never fall. Again, the vowels are longer. After me, you never fall in love again. Oh, so she's playing with the vowel shape, which as a result is altering the color of her voice. So it's in your head. Cause after me, you never fall in love again. You see? And then that la la la, the L was really light. La la la. It almost had like the undertone of a D sound. La la la. Or maybe it was like a soft D L combination. I don't know. But it was very soft. La la la. Yeah, almost like a medieval, <laughs> like Renaissance, like a green sleeves or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She kind of played with the vowel on oxygen. Oxygen. You see how I changed the tongue slightly? You hear more thickness. Ruin it. You hear a lot more thickness and beefiness in her voice. She's always been a great belter and things like that, but you can really hear her adding more weight in her voice here because of the song and kind of how she wants to finesse the song. There's a little more thickness, beefiness in her belting here. You got one chance. the transition was right there but you see again because the original recording kind of has more layered effect on that part she let the first in your hands go and added kind of a little upwards arpeggio little upwards walk up Child! with a little throw at the end then in your hands got right back into the in your hands part i like how she navigates that it gives me such like a raw acoustic you know like live feel to the song you know I like it. I just like how she layers and how she spun this live version because she made it still singable. She's still making the song singable for her, you know, and showing the humanity in her vocal delivery. Yeah, she's making the song singable. That's that's what it is. You're making it singable. like the falls and how they kind of fall not necessarily on the key of the song you know it's almost raw she did it on and i'm in it as well and i'm in it in your it's almost like a cry like a plea you know or like a just a affirmation because oh, after me it's very uh, you know it has a lot of energy in there yeah it's really nice i really love how she spun this live version a little glottal onset on the end of that little nuance on after me you'll never fall in love again when she brought that back in a second time and brought it up higher she had a little bit more of like a glottal eh, 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 with a little throw or fall at the end i really like that If you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below to click the alert button next week so you know when the next video is posted. And give this a thumbs up as well if you can. And as I will always continue to say to you, be vocally bold, creative, and aware, but most of all, be vocally you. I love you so much, and I'll see y'all soon.